अनंतबाद हरे कृष्णा साउथ अफ्रीका फ्लोरिडा ब्राजील एंड थाईलैंड जस्ट शोइंग अप सो लेट अस बिगिन एंड ब्राजील इज लेट एट नाइट सॉरी लीलामय प्रभु हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुक्तिनाथ प्रभु दंडवाद 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 महाराज दंडवाद लीलामय प्रभु एवरीवन हाउ इज योर वर्क गोइंग वेल जय महाराज गोइंग वेल नाइस वेरी गुड एंड टुडे संडे मीटिंग अगेन इज very very nourishing okay beautiful do send some pictures a little report later on we'll be happy to see sure yes lin lin welcome also we've greeted each other so far let us begin with our traditional vandeham as we do to get started and others will join in the meantime no doubt वंदेहम श्री गुरो श्रीयुत पर कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवश्चीप सागर जाता साहगन रघुनता सजीव साधता सवरुता पारिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पार सहगन ललित श्री विशकन्वितांश्च ओम ज्ञानतिमरा ज्ञानंजनाशलाकय चक्षुर्नमीत जेन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमो महावरण्यय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गोरध्विज नम वंशकूब हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओ डियर नो नो बडी सेंट मी द आंसर ऑफ हाउ नॉट टू स्नीज ड्यूरिंग अ ब्रॉडकास्ट सिट समवेयर वॉम मे बी आई जस्ट पुट ऑन द ग्लव्स बिकॉज़ इट्स डेफिनेटली अ लिटिल चिली इन द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड इन यूरोप अ लिटिल चिली All right, so dear devotees, Ganga Lila, Gesundheit, oh, uh, so viele Danke. And as you know, not this week, but the week before, we were in a German-speaking area. We went to Switzerland. The devotees kidnapped me, took me to Switzerland, and oh, it was last Saturday, right? Not yesterday, Saturday, the Saturday before. and we were in minus quite a lot there but now we are in about 0 degrees but heat cold happiness distress we must continue in all circumstances and as we speak we can see some places night some places day some places is plus 25 degrees some places minus 25 degrees it is this nature of the world and sevarupa devarasis putta mentioned dandava pranams to shila gurudev shila guru maharaj and all the wonderful devotees please accept my obeisances apologies for having my camera off we're having load shedding here and then a big black dot how do you find a big black dot devotees always seem to find all sorts of icons and things which we don't even know about and yes kalikaram banana we know that you're there there also quietly and we're very happy to have you with us 
our Australian contingent. And uh, here we are, we're together. And has everybody done their homework? Because I do have a note for homework. Dandavat Priyanana Devi Rasi. In the Tomsk temple, perhaps. Yes, very good. I'm sure your your presence there is very valuable in the Tomsk temple. All right, so uh, we can come to our homework. First of all, um, uh -huh. okay, excuse me, sorry, because message is coming. First of all, please everybody say yes. Are you reading Shri Shri Prapana Jeevan Amritam? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 100% is yes. Because remember, that was not my request. That was Srila Gurudev's request on the 1st of January. He said, this way to start our new year by reading Prapana Jeevan Amritam. Yes, Ganga Lila Didi. Very good. So, reading Prapanaji Vanamritam and uh, reading also. Um, oh, no, we were learning or relearning um, the verse from the Prapanaji Vanamritam. So, somebody start me off. Text 35. Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam. It is Rishavidherapi. Kain Karyan Krishna Padakaya Sharatun Sharnagati. All right, well done. So you have learnt it, and everybody else is nodding and saying yes also. <laughs> I'm not sure Indu Lake is also in the night time and I'm not sure if she was nodding or not. Yes, okay. So the homework done. And what was Abrahma Bhuvanan Lokaha? From Bhagavad Gita. Have you all learnt? Muktinathru, an Indian, Indian shaking their head. Which, but I think this was a, a, a non-Indian shaking the head, which means no, or possibly. So then, Lila Moitru, Abrahma Bhuvna Loka, Punnar Abhatino Juna, then? Man Upecha Kamteya, Tu Kamteya, Punnar Janma, something like this day, I believe so you can maybe just pick that up from uh, Srila Prabhupada's Gita Hare Krishna let me just take a quick look here Bhuvanam Ding. Abrahma Bhuvanam Loka Punara Vatino Juna Mamu Pecha to Kantaya Punna Janma na Vidyate. Yeah, I got it wrong. Punna Janma na Vidyate. And this is from Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Hare Krishna. And where is Bhagavad Gita here? Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. And that means that from the highest planet to the lowest planet, all are places of misery where birth and death take place. And really it is a reminder because we have higher planets and lower planets on planet Earth. Earth is a middle planet, so we have some heavenliness and we have some hellishness in both of them. Ah, yes, and here we have... Oh, Lila Moy popped it into the chat box with the word by word. From the highest planet in the material world down to the lowest, all are places of misery wherein repeated birth and death take place. But one who attains to my abode, O son of Kunti, 
never takes birth again. Hare Krishna. Ashapurna. Did you do your homework? Everybody else did their homework. Did you do your homework? Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam Mitutrija Vidherapi. I saw an O. I can lip read some words. I saw an O. And it's good to do. It's that verse that Srila Gurudev said, if we can only learn one verse, if we learn this one verse, we will get everything ever given in any scripture about Sharanagati. So it's a very good verse to learn. Oh, look. Uh, can I? Can we see? <laughs> Dandavas Maharaj. Um, I, have the, I have the verse right in my Japa bag, but I, I only have the first, like, three words memorized so far okay and you have it there with the word by word yes you do and then the meaning this is from um before we went to india Sudha krishna das gave uh all of our all of our little tiny pilgrim trip <laughs> they, he gave us this little card with that verse on it and uh the meaning really okay sweet. nice that's a that's a very a thoughtful thing to do yeah very sweet all right. So, dear devotees, you've all been very well. You've all done very well. In a work in progress and progress and Prapana Jeevan Amritam is a lifetime's work in progress also. The whole of the Prapana Jeevan Amritam and to keep, to keep some momentum going. And let's see if I... Okay, so first of all, we're on Zoom. Please, and we're on Zoom and we're on Facebook and to all of those of you on Facebook also a very big welcome uh, to you all. We've already chanted our mini Vandanam. We did our revision. We checked that everyone is reading Prapanaji and Amritam. A hundred percent, yes. And then Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam, this verse. Then uh, almost a hundred percent, yes. And Abrahma Bhuvna Loka Punar Avatino Juna, this verse from Bhagavad Gita, which is a good reminder to us about the material world. And some said yes. So we're doing good. Uh, so now we are on Zoom, we're on Facebook, and I today I have got Facebook on because I've got a second connection here, so we're able to run the two at the same time. There we are. So, uh, to Madhava Prabhu, to Priya Bhakti Prabhu, and to Matura Basini Devi Rasi, and to Kalikadamba, the devotees who I can see there, though I know that somehow devotees sometimes are there and I'm not able to see them. So, to all of you who are live, all of you who are seeing in the recorded version, our obeisances to you all, our appreciation to you all, and in our Zoom section, then we are available for questions. And Indu Lake is with somebody, but my screen's too small and my light is too bright to see. This is Chitra Rupini Didi. Chitra Rupini, Hare Krishna, welcome. She is a disciple of Srila Janardin Mukharaj. Jai. She's a dear friend to our Hridoy. Okay. Hridoy, remember him? I do remember him, Hridoy and his dog. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, welcome. Thank you. We're very happy to be. You're in good company with lots of good devotees with you. Well, just two of us right now. Well, <laughs> with you and all the devotees on the Zoom right now, yes. That's what I'm... Well, yes, with you. Uh, actually, I meant all the devotees on the Zoom, including Indu Laker. Yes, okay. <laughs> so you are in good company. All right, so we are on Zoom. Any question from anybody or anything that you would like to share from this week to give us some inspiration in the basics of our devotional life? Maharaj, I can share a couple of lines. Yes. Please do so. Uh, we're just uh, reading affectionate guidance here. And first question is, uh, who compiled this book? A devote, well, it's compiled from previously published um, articles, etc. 
Oh, uh, no, affectionate guidance. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And it's compiled by Poonanan, uh, sorry, Prem Avatar Prabhu in Norway. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And there was one nice line. This was actually about Prakrita Sahaja, but it was so nice. Like Srila Gurudev was saying, don't look for easy ways to approach the highest things, this Rupanuga line. Because otherwise you will fall in the pit of Prakrita Sahaja and you will never like get back. And he says like, don't try to search for easy ways because by the grace of Guru Maharaj, this way already be easy for you. <laughs> like this. And just tell everybody what is Prakrita Sahaja. Uh, it's like imitation. Well, as for me, I don't know. You can. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because usually we think that something inside of India or like some group of people who dress, who are men, but dress like women and think they are gopis. But uh, as for me, I define it like when you want some result, like immediately, so to say, and you start to imagine that you already have some high sentiments, but you don't. But you just want it very much because you practiced or something like this. It's like imitation. Mm -hmm. yeah, like when you don't really have it, but you try to show off. So like this. And Srila so Guru Maharaj, yes. in different places, you'll find Srila Guru Maharaj. And oh, this book is by Srila Guru Dev. You'll find Srila mm -hmm. Guru Dev and Srila Guru Maharaj saying that this is a long journey. We can't expect that we're going to get the highest thing very easily. There must be some tests on the journey. And yes, this is an important point that in India, there are some that, I mean, really, there are some, they come to encourage you to take what we would say is intoxication. But you see, from another side, they say, no, this is enlightenment. And they are trying to give some shortcut through smoking ganja and various things like this. But this was very much um, shown by Guru Maharaj to be the opposite. And so by doing all these things which we know are breaking the basic principles, the basic principles that Srila Gurudev said, I'm expecting everybody who comes to take initiation from me already knows no illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. And so in there is intoxication. So the basis of our spiritual life is you know, to follow some basic things. So to take a shortcut by imagination, by intoxication, by all these things to think, okay, I'll, I'll take the benefit of these items. We may think it is benefit, but Srila Guru Maharaj very clearly and in my presence right there on different occasions, he ex he described, explained how you know, these things, they are harmful for us. And so tamagum is ignorance, is intoxication and the opposite to that is sattva gun is approaching the divinity, but suddha sattva, pure goodness, is the plane of Krishna's land. Everything is good. Now, there's no mixture with any mundane uh, quality. So this is one of the like the shortcuts that becomes fashionable sometimes, and but it is pretending. Yes, it is I'm pretending. Not... I just want to add, Maharaj, that I recently looked through this small notebook from the festival, and there you were telling about Guru Maharaj. Probably I already mentioned, like someone told to Guru Maharaj that thanks to LSD, I came to Krishna consciousness. And you said Guru Maharaj was very stern, and he answered, it's despite the LSD you came, such is the mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu. Yes. It also stuck to yes. Me. And I know exactly the devotee. I was there, and this is not second hand. This is very much first hand. Hare Krishna. Yes. And it's not just one occasion. 
Srila Guru Maharaj was approached on different occasions about this matter of uh, intoxication. And at that time, there were leaders in the society, in the Krishna conscious society, who were promoting intoxication and then misusing the scripture to say, okay, so we have to do everything for the Lord. So they're offering the intoxication and then taking it as prasadam and this, that and the other. And Gurudev, uh, Srila Guru Maharaj, no, he heard everything and he just made it very plainly clear that this is very wrong. And this is, you know, this happens from time to time that even the leaders they get some experience. They think, oh, this is spiritual. I'll share this with others. But it's not spiritual. It's illusion. And so despite the increased layers of illusion and despite our the falsity going down a false path thinking it is real then the mercy of mahaprabhu is so great that despite these things we come to the we are given the opportunity to come to the highest path so yes but intoxication is one aspect of this uh, prakrita sahajya that is the imitation and the, there are those who imitate. And as you said, by imagining that they are this, imagining that they are that. And in America, when the film movie industry was young, then between America and England, there was some competition for making good movies. And then I'm told by those who know the history of movies, then America started putting out like very good movies where the actors were not just acting. If you see old black and white movies, you know, you understand they're acting like a, a theater on a, the, the actors on the stage in a theater. You know they're acting. But then it started to be that who's in the movie, it looks like they're actually that person. That they're, they have the nature of the the bad man, the nature of the good man, etc. And it was a method that they called uh, method, or they called it method acting. And somehow or another, they, they go into this routine, the preparation of themselves psychologically, that I am this person. I, and then when they come on to the set for filming, they really have taken on the persona of that person. But it is acting. Acting is acting, but for that length of time, they're really thinking, I am James Bond, or I am, I'm not James Bond was British, maybe he wasn't a method, maybe they learned it later, okay. I don't know much about movies, by the way, but this was an, you know, it's an example how in method acting, you can believe you are, you know, whatever part you're playing, but it's make-believe. It's like the children, when they're playing their part and putting on the Superman outfit and they're going around with their plastic sword and they're thinking they're Superman. But if they jump off a building, I think they'll find out they're not Superman. So this way also, devotional life is full of pitfalls. And this is why we must try to stay carefully on the on the rails, keep the, the train on the rails and go in the right direction. And the right direction means that we will be under the guidance of those who really know. And I think, anyhow, and who really knows? Who knows Krishna? Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And they want us to come to our home. And as Priyanana pointed out just now, that they have given us the easiest path. What Mahaprabhu has given is a huge gift. Never before given. This also to be noted, and I think here on Back to Back to Basics we did uh, read one excerpt uh, of uh, saying that, where Srila Guru Maharaj is saying, never ever before given. 
and very strongly mentioned, not only in this universe, but in, many, in any universe. And there are millions and unlimited numbers of universes. Then, you know, the, the amazingness of what we've come in touch with becomes more and more hammered home into our, into our consciousness. And so the, the path has been given and to try to get something that, you know, you come on a three-month course and after that you're going to be a gopi or you're going to be Mother Jashoda or something. And that's not that's not very practical. And even logically, the sensible person may will think that, I don't think I can become Mother Jashoda on a, after a three-month course. But with some LSD and some other stuff, maybe... You can think you become Mother Jashoda. But it's not a good idea, dear devotees. And no, I won't even say that. It's a bad idea. You should avoid all of these things. But it's not always with intoxication. It's those who are like seriously on the path when they get misdirected, then it may not be that they're giving something to make them feel even more that they are that person. But they are being convinced. Instead of brainwashed, they're being uh, brain polluted, <laughs> brain brain changed. <laughs> but the Krishna consciousness process is a brain washing process. Means to to wash the dirt from the brain. But that is different than polluting the brain, putting strange ideas in there. And the, our consciousness is already polluted, beginning with, I think I'm the body. I think I'm my mind. These are strong pollutions. I, me, mine. Prahlad Maharaj says this is the beginning of all our troubles. So we need to cleanse ourselves, cleanse ourselves according to the process. And we need to nourish our proper self, our inner self, according to the process. And that's been given by Mahaprabhu. And yes, if we try to look for a shortcut and get something easily and be convinced, be misled somewhere, then when we are misled, then the wild animals in the jungle, they're very happy to gobble us up. And this um, imitation is something which Guru Maharaj, you can say, hated imitation. Gurudev hated imitation. And we had one or two devotees who came to the mat, Westerners who came to visit, and then it turned out they had some a background of imitation and the sort of coming to the mat inquisitively. And really, Gurudev could pick these things up very quickly which took us, I mean, a long time to understand why Gurudev is uh, not appreciating this particular, you know, a particular devotee coming. And Guru, Gurudev sort of tolerating for a little while, then saying, no, must be get out. So then we have the duty to, must be get out that devotee. Because in the family, you don't want, you don't want in the family somebody who really is not a family member who's got their own agenda and own agenda can go to unlimited other families in the in the world but our family it is for the the sweet path of surrender knowing that the affectionate hand of krishna is behind everything it's all passing through his view to reach us, every circumstance. So the adjustment to this quite different line, very practical line, that adjusting our vision according to the environment and being patient, knowing we are in the, we are on the journey, we're going to the direct in the right direction. But being patient that when the time will come, it will be revealed to me. The door will be opened and we'll see, there we are. Oh, my goodness, here we are. 
but we cannot push our way to go there. We have to wait for the grace of the residents of that land. And if you want to get the grace of the residents of that land, do not go along the path of imitation. Do not try to get it cheaply, thinking there is some other way to go. Because, unfortunately, the fact is that that will be a disadvantage. And we have seen, like I just mentioned, that we've had devotees who have that imitation tendency and really Gurudev and Guru Maharaj not distributing their grace there. They, they, some, something must change in the heart of the imitation devotees to realize it. Really, imitation is wrong. But you see, if really we go into that path of imitation, as Srila Gurudev said in that quote that Priyananda was mentioning from affectionate guidance, Guru Maharaj says, there you will fall into that pit and never come out. I mean, of course, never is a long time, but making that point that what is our what is our conception of life anyway? It is this lifetime. So, you know, at least Gurudev is pointing out that at this lifetime you're going to be lost. So we're trying to use this lifetime to be unlost, to be found, to find the direction home. So yes. Hare Krishna. And what's so objectionable about being a devotee? The destination is wonderful, but the journey is wonderful. To be with devotees, to cook for Krishna, to chant his name, to read the Leela, the pastimes of Krishna, the pastimes of Mahaprabhu from a proper source. And that means Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Gurudev, Srila Gurudev, Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, whatever order you want to say, from all of them. And this is, <clears throat> this is a great joy. And when we you know, maybe, okay, maybe in the beginning it's not a joy. Oh, I should sit down and read the book. Oh dear, but I want to turn on the TV and see the news because the news is very important. It must be important. It's on every half an hour. Oh yes, very important. You might be surprised. The news is not so important at all. I haven't seen the news in many years, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> and what is important, somebody is going to tell you. Like COVID, oh, you can't you can't go out. Sorry, <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> because you're not allowed to cross the border into the next, uh, uh, like county, which happens to be right outside the door. So you know, in COVID, we kind of got the news from those who know what we can do and what we can't do. But the news is not so important. The news of the upper world is important. And when we do get into the habit, and we need to get into a good habit, we need to leave the bad habits and get good habits. That's why we've come to Krishna consciousness. We've come, we've recognized, oh, there's something very good here, and I do need to change. So we need to try to adopt the good habits of our regular japa, regular reading, regular uh, arati, regularly offering our food, whatever we eat, we first offer to Krishna. However minimal it may be, it doesn't mean a full temple program for all of these items. But these good habits will gently, bit by bit, come to be part of your life. And when you start your day and you haven't chanted your japa, you haven't at least offered some incense and started your day with some reading from affectionate guidance, loving search, Prapna Jeevan Amrita, Chaitanya Charita Amrita, whatever book that you're going through or books that you're going through at the time. Then it's like going out without eating, without breakfast, going out into the world with, you know, with no nourishment, proper nourishment. And you miss it. And not only that, you look forward to the to the programs. 
And Rupa Goswami has also promised it in his Upadeshanritam, where he's saying that in the beginning it may seem like hard work and doesn't taste very nice, but to chant the holy names, to chant the glories of the pastimes, the, the nature, etc., of the Lord and his devotees, it is like it is the medicine. And then gradually we will come to want to do these things. It will become very tasteful. So devotional service itself is very tasteful. And to, to take something tasteful, which is tasteful and nourishing, not reactionary, is very beautiful. So this is the path of devotional life. And the path of pretending, it's unsatisfactory. This, it's not only something lacking, it's just... An imitation is imitation. It's like trying to live a life of, of pretending. A grown-up child. We have two children living here. From, you know, the, as with their mother, of course. The refugee is coming from, the, from eastern Ukraine. And so we see them. You know, it's nice to have children around in some way to remind us of a lot of things. But we see them like fully pretending lots of things that they're not. You know, and one of them is Superman. They have a little costume and dress up as Superman. Yes, well, you've got your own little world going on there. And it's obvious they've got their own little world going on. No one's coming to ask them to save the world. But grown-ups with long matted hair and looking very like a sadhu, can also be doing something very similar. And those who have got the eye to see, like Guru Maharaj and Gurudev, they can see right through the, 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 uh, the cover, like we can see right through the child. We know they're completely pretending to be Superman, and they get really into the, you know, into the wars <laughs> that they have with the... <laughs> Other de devotee children, children of devotees, we'll wait for them to show their devotion, their own devotional side. But with other devotee children, then they, I don't know who the op opponent to Batman is, but anyway, they certainly know some things about who is the opponent. So, you know, they're having their quite genuine wars going on, but it's all imitation. So we can also be an imi imitator devotee, but it's not going to help us. Not to try to take a shortcut and not to try to make our own method. You know, this, anyway. Anyway. I was going to come back to, again, you know, this thing about intoxication, because it does catch many people's mind. I mean, I've had devotees say to me, well, you know, <laughs> various things, but it's obviously wrong from the perspective of Guru Maharaj. So who are we going to listen to, Guru Maharaj or somebody else? However, you know, advanced, old they may be, supposedly, then we have to be very careful and uh, not to get into that shortcut mode, either by meeting some guru or some teacher or reading a book that says oh yes but if you sit and you meditate in this way then everything you know you'll be transformed whether by you know uh, apparently clean ways or obviously unclean ways then we we want to be very cautious and not try to take any shortcut except that shortcut that mahaprabhu god krishna has given us and through his clean, pure right-hand man, right-hand agents, those who've come here, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, very strongly showed what is right and very strongly showed what is wrong. And Srila Guru Maharaj, very strong follower of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, and it is he that Srila Prabhupada sent his devotees to, to learn what is Krishna consciousness. 
I'm sending the raw gems for you to polish, Srila Guru, Srila Prabhupada saying, and he's sending the, the Western devotees to Guru Maharaj. So Guru Maharaj, very strong follower of Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, the standard holder, the flag bearer. And from there we will get our standard. And I've been there, by the way, not in just one conversation about this intoxication thing. But I guess by intoxication we can you know, get spiritual realizations. But we've been there in different times because there were a lot of devotees came from the intoxication world. But it has to be put into place. It's not a shortcut. Hare Krishna and Gurudev very strongly objected to a, one particular sannyasi, older generation sannyasi, Indian, not our Western world sannyasi. But he, in apparently Gaudiya Vaishnava, apparently dressing like and showing that he's a follower of Mahaprabhu, but teaching this imitation process and getting many followers because very quickly they can get Krishna consciousness. And Gurudev very much objected to that. That showing as a Gaudiya Vaishnava, as a follower of Mahaprabhu, and teaching the opposite, very wrong, very dangerous indeed. So there's a lot of danger outside of the the compound of our guru's guardianship and that's why chastity this this uh, theme of chastity Srila gurudev was very uh, emphatic about that i mean chastity means chased to our guru vaga not to go looking here and there we've got everything in guru maharaj this was Srila gurudev's you know, extremely clear vision and there is so much danger outside and if you go outside You'll always be thinking, we hope, is this what Guru Maharaj, does this agree with what Guru Maharaj gave? So always that's going to be our benchmark. And why go somewhere where we can, we will be thinking, oh, that's not what Guru Maharaj will give. So give our attention to what Guru Maharaj gave. And we'll understand what he gave more and more by hearing and understanding from Srila Gurudev. From Srila Govinda Maharaj. He is the revealer of the heart of Guru Maharaj. So shortcuts are a bad idea. In spiritual life. In that sense. And the shortcut is there. When we, all, when we are attracted to doing kind of other meditations or something and we come to Krishna consciousness then we can leave aside all those other things to become a perfect meditator to become a perfect this, that and the other it's not going to help what's going to help is the holy name, our service attitude our avoiding the ten offences our association our daily practices. Sorry, devotees, we're not pure devotees. We can't just abandon the daily practices. They are given for us for our good, good guidance. And our daily practices are not like all kinds of severe things. As we said before, it's actually very sweet. Our devotional path is very sweet. But we need to try to get into a routine of doing a little worship at the altar. Just offering something, offering your cooking and offering your food to him, but reading something from Gurudev and Guru Maharaj consistently from beginning to end uh, each day. And, I mean, Chaitanya Charitamrita is sort of a must to fit this into your, your day. And remember, you've got two parts of your day. You do have a morning when you wake up early and the world is peaceful. It hasn't come to disturb you yet. Have your phone on silent or somewhere or in the other room or whatever you want to do. And 
You have also the evening when you finished all your daily things. It's a different mood, I know. But most of the world comes home and turns on the TV. We come home and we bathe and then come and have a sweet evening program. It's shorter. In Nagadeep, it was shorter than the morning program in general. Oh, well, no, no, not in Nagadeep. But anyway, according to your circumstances, it can be shorter or longer. I mean, that's going to vary according to circumstance. But something to do a little worship and to do a little reading and to see the videos. Yesterday, we are, I mean, not only yesterday, but yesterday evening, we are um, playing the video of uh, Srila Guru Maharaj recommended to us by Tonga Rasadari. She's not here. Oh, she is. She's here with us. So when we, or especially when we get a recommendation, oh, this video is very good. Then we watched and then we're able to also like show not only to ourselves, but if there are others, we can also show, look, this is Guru Mahārāj, this is Guru Dev. Even if you don't understand what they're saying, look at their nature, their mannerism, you can understand something. It's, a, it's amazing that we can do it. So, morning program, evening program, we can have variety. It's not a mechanical thing, but this nourishment as Rupa Goswami said in Upadeshamritam, gradually we'll come to want to taste these things and it won't be, oh, it's seven o'clock. I told myself at seven o'clock every day I'm going to sit down and do you know, some, some reading and some worship. We look forward to it. And then one day we hope that 24 hours a day we will be actually remembering Krishna with every activity. And by the way, there are quite a lot of uh, places where Guru Maharaj says, this is Krishna consciousness. You know, so we do have some descriptions of what we've come to the edge of and what we hope to be able to dive into. And when we hear from Guru Maharaj about what is Krishna consciousness, then we do start to think Krishna consciousness is a very good idea. I would like to be Krishna conscious. Hare Krishna. And I think you would like to be Krishna conscious too. That's why you're here, each of you. <laughs> so don't imitate, don't try to take a shortcut. Mahaprabhu has given us, chant Hare Krishna and you will be happy. Fasten your seat belts, put up your tray table, turn off and put your phone onto, onto uh, aeroplane mode and you will be happy. This sound is in my ear from Russia, taking an aeroplane in Russia. <laughs> the pilot not saying that we wish you a pleasant flight. He telling us, you will be happy on our flight. So, chant Hare Krishna and you will be happy. Govinda, Govinda. Welcome, Dibya Shakti Devi Rasi, arriving quietly. And Dibya Shakti's prayer is in my heart continually. Many devotees want to go on pilgrimage to India. But at the moment, we are, well, at the moment I am not going at least. Rather, we are making the places, visiting the places, going to places where we feel the substance of the pilgrimage is strongly there. And the substance is the path that Mahaprabhu has given. Harikirtan, Harikata, Prashadam, association. And the reason to go to holy places is for just that. And one day it must be. So anyway, Dibhya Shakti, we're hearing you, we're hearing so many devotees, your requests. But now we have, Krishna has given us some opportunity for 
association with each other happily on Zoom and in different places in the world and personal Zooms and so many things. So taking this uh, facility given by Krishna, we are meeting up happily more than we, when we didn't have these and were, were physically going from A to B to C to D, etc. Hare Krishna. Okay, Priyanana Devi Rasa. Yes, you make a good point. Hare Krishna. Not to imitate, but to do the advices that our masters give. And by the way, in the morning time, oh no, actually evening time, morning and evening blur together. Okay, so in the evening time, we have actually been reading also a few verses each day, and, and it's not a long book, so we've only been reading it for two days. So anyway, we're going to finish it. That's that little booklet that Srila Gurudev gave out at initiation time. And it is a booklet of treasures about the holy name, the wonder of the holy name, the power of the holy name, the fortune of those who chant the holy name. The holy name, the holy name, the holy name. It's a wonderful little booklet. And it is on sesmat.com. If you go to the books uh, link at the left side, then PDF books, then the, that very same book is there. It's, it's called maybe the Holy Name, Glories of the Holy Name and the Ten Offenses to be Avoided. Something like that it is called. I could see. But it is there, it's quite obviously there. And that is a, a little treasure house of encouragement for us to take the holy name of the Lord and the mood in which to take the holy name of the Lord in much appreciation. And then we will see that really this is the direct route. It's not a carrot so that you'll do something else. It, a carrot in front of the donkey so that the donkey will go forwards. Not like that. It is actually the direct route to come to the best goal. And we need it because time is short. Time is very short. And day by day, at least week by week, at least month by month, we are reminded of that. But very often, day by day, when we see what is happening with our family, with our friends, with people we know, Time is short, and while we have a healthy body and a healthy mind, however unhealthy it is, we, that's not necessary to see, but whatever little bit of healthiness is there, we'll try to use our healthy body and healthy mind in a healthy way. And that has been given to us by Guru Maharaj, by Guru Dev, and by Srila Prabhupada in a very practical way. Before coming to try to be, in Krishna consciousness, I mean, I think many, many of us, myself, I'd read some you know, books about you know, yogis and this, that and the other before. But it all looked, yes, wonderful. Somebody can raise the kundalini up their spine and get realization. So, I mean, some, it was attractive. But I also <laughs> thought, yeah, but it's not me. I know I can't sit and do those things. And by the way, you know, after being with Guru Maharaj and Guru Dev in India, and being in India basically for 30 years and more is my home, then we can say that from their vision, even though someone may look like the yogis may look like they're, you know, in a spiritual trance or something, then from their vision, there's very few who actually can be successful. I mean, even in there is successful in their definition of successful in their different departments of yoga. Because this is the age of disturbance. It's Kali Yuga. So, you know, some of these meditation proposals that are given in other places. Okay, but I know that I can't do that. But when we he heard from Srila Prabhupada about the proposal of chanting Hare Krishna, 
we think, oh, well, I can chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> and I did. I chanted Hare Krishna while running safaris in Africa. And then look what happened. <laughs> Something happened. So anyone can chant Hare Krishna. And I hold no responsibility of what will happen to you. Except that something good will happen to you. I'm sure of it. Hare Krishna. And as I have told some of my friends, devotee friends, of course, in the past, if somebody had read my palm, like astrologer or somebody, and when I was a teenager and said, you spend most of your time you know, pursuing spiritual life in a temple, I absolutely would have said to them, you've got the wrong chart here. So, you know, chanting Hare Krishna can change our chart as Guru Maharaj told to Guru Dev also. Throw away your astrology chart. So, and Guru Dev knew astrology. And by the way, for those of you who are attracted to go to India, to go to some famous astrologer, Srila Gurudev also had his particular, very clear comments about most of the astrologers in India. So please be cautious. Don't make the astrologer your guru. Have the guru as your guru. Have Guru Maharaj and Gurudev, the gurus, Vishwa guru of the whole world, the whole universe. They are our gurus, not an astrologer. Astrology is telling you your karma, even if they got it right, even if they're actually capable. They're telling you your karma. But the gurus are telling you that your karma, that is nothing. It, what is necessary, it is. Your, your sukriti, your spiritual bank account, and to give attention there, and all your karma side will take care of itself. That's Krishna's promise. And that's the promise of so many of those who know. In other words, coming from Sadhu, Shastra and the Lord himself. So we are on the express train. The express train goes straight to its destination. Hare Krishna. In here in Italy, to go from Milano, which is here, to Rome, they have this train that does 300 kilometers an hour. Well, you can't do much better than that. It's faster than the plane. Because to go for a plane, you've got to go an hour and a half before, an hour, you know, then all this other stuff, and then the, the time it all takes. And you've got to get to the airport. The train goes from the right outside the door and it takes you straight to Rome. Three hours. So, if somebody starts giving you some proposal of some other way of getting to Rome, you can just say, oh, I think I'll just stay on this train. Thank you very much. So, it's a bad example perhaps, but we have that 300 kilometers an hour multiplied by infinity, because our journey is infinite, so it's an infinite journey, but we have this infinitely express train in the form of Mahaprabhu, his teachings, and following those teachings. If you don't get on the train, don't expect to get to the destination. And if you get off the train, then don't expect to get to your destination anytime soon. And if you get off the train and go in a train that's going to go into a pit of which you're not going to get out, then that's very unfortunate. As we heard from the beginning, the quote from Priyanana Devi, by imitation, we'll fall into the pit of Sahajism from which we will not be able to come out. Hare Krishna. Govinda, Govinda, and several devotees joined us in the meantime while we're chatting away about these sub these <laughs> say substances, these subject matters, which earlier was about substances. 
that was these subject matters. So all of you who joined us, Radha Kanta Prabhu, Ishwarananda Prabhu, Narayani Nadiyadidi, good to see you after a while, Narayani. Hope you're doing well in the forests of California, the jungle of California. Ananda Sundari Didi, very welcome. Chintamani, you're being very quiet, Chintamani. Gangalila Didi, yes, she did her homework, she let us know. And Tungarasa Didi, all joined us in the meantime. Hare Krishna. All right, dear ones. Oh, I better look in the chat. I see some things are in the chat. Abrahma, Bhuvana, Lokaha, Puna, Avatino, Juna. Mamupetya to Kantaya, Puna Janma Navidyate. This used to roll off my tongue very easily because we used to use this, you repeat this verse a lot in our preaching in India to the Indians when we went village to village because they all want to go to the West at that time at least. Now they, I hope some realize them, India is not such a bad place to be. With some good culture. Indulekha would like to say or oh, ask a question. Oh, Indulekha, next time, please come in next time and you can keep a note of your question. Is that okay? Because it's a little bit over time. But I'm happy that you would like to ask a question. Oh, Muktinath says you. Oh, Muktinath knows your mind. Okay. Well done, Muktinath. And Lila, oh, Lila Moipra was put in, put in the chat box uh, the link to that little booklet that I mentioned that we're reading, which is a beautiful booklet of um, uh, the glories of the name. And Gurudev himself would give that out. And so he appreciated that. So it's a beautiful little booklet. And Naraini Nadia, Dandabhat Pranam, Jai Gurudev. All right. All right, so it is time to continue, probably for all of us. Some of you, it's late at night also. And here it's early in the morning, but it's still time to continue with our day. So let us continue happily. And we'll meet again in a couple of days' time, or in a few days' time. And in the meantime, try to put into our hearts the, those simple homework daily, still for now, try to read from Prapana Jeevan Amritam. And... Now we've got this little booklet also to go through the holy name, the glories of the holy name. And the two verses, Bhagavad Bhakti Tasur Sarvam and this um, Abrahma Bhuvanal Lokaha. Let's try to keep them as part of our DNA and make our week successful, our life successful. Jai Gurudev, Sheila Bhak. Oh, Radha Sundari, somebody wants to speak? Radha Sundari? I just have a one small question about what what you said about imitation. Does yes. playing in drama or movie devotional movie about Haridas Thakur or Dwaraka or Jagannath pastime is it counts as an imitation as well, or it's a different thing? That's a different category. Um, okay, it's a different category. Personally, mm -hmm. I can't watch those videos. I'm sorry. I tried. We In Navadeep, we used to show videos for the public about some mm -hmm. of the pastimes. But when I see mm -hmm. people, people playing the part of Krishna and his associates and even pay, playing the part of Arjuna, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> we see by hearing. So... You know, for some, maybe it's good, but it's the movie world. But we see by hearing. And, you know, there are many times in Chaitanya Charitamrita where we come across uh, things, and in Brihad Bhagavatamrita, both of those books we're reading daily here. And there are many things which come up, you come across. It's impossible to put into movie form. And if you were to try to limit it to a movie you're going to miss the, the main substance. So as far as possible for grown-ups, which I think we're all grown-ups here, then we will see by hearing rather than watching some man acting Mahaprabhu's pastimes. 
So anyway, mm -hmm. this is my brief feedback on that. But it's not imitation in the sense of, you know, we are pretending to be somebody we're not. Mm -hmm. Or we're trying to transform ourselves into Mother Jashoda by thinking I'm Mother Jashoda. Oh, yeah. So, and Goswami Maharaj, yeah, back to Siddhiya Goswami Maharaj, he told that if one of the devotees a long time ago, and not in our society, but he said, they read about how you should choose some to some uh, uh, resident of Vrindavan and then, then imitate their mood. Somehow they read this somewhere. And so they were, they chose to be a peacock. So they were walking around always like, ah, 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 you know, there's a peacock. And obviously, you know, to anyone's going to really think that's a little bit wrong when they see somebody walking around pretending to be a peacock. Anyway, let's not uh, extend, <laughs> let's not extend too far the conversation. I think we made the points earlier on, and I'm not sure quite how much through the, the talk you joined us, Radha Sundari Didi, but the main point is that we can't pretend, we're not here for pretending, we're here for truth, we're here for the absolute truth. And so let's follow the truthful path, which is under the guidance of Guru and Gauranga. And about that, all glories to our wonderful, safe, deep, super special Gurus. Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Srila Bhakti Rokok Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Srila A.C. Bhakti Varanta Swami Prabhupada. Ki Jai. And our grandfather Guru giving us everything. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Tako. Ki Jai. And our Rupa Nuga Guru Varga. That pure line of descent of truth. To all of that Guru Varga. Ki Jai. And to all our present day Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Acharya Vrinda. All those today who are the Gurus, the teachers in the line of Mahaprabhu to Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. This is our line. Sri Chaitanya Saraswati, the present day, Acharya Vrinda, Ki Jai. And to all the sincere seekers, devotees, present, Ki Jai. And to and the unlimited devotees everywhere, Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda, Ki Jai. Nitai Gora Premanandi, Hari Hari Bo, Bancha Kalpa Turubi as Chai. Kripa Sindhu Pia Eva Cha Patitanam Pavanebio Vaishnavebio Namo Nama. Srila Bhakti Ramzan Matsudan Maharaj Ki Jai. Okay, wishing you all successful Seva Week. Those of you who are on Facebook here, on Zoom here, and with us still in the recorded version, you've listened to the whole recorded version. Well done. I also like to listen. I'm a listener. Okay, I mean, not to my classes, but to other people's classes. And we do listen in to various uh, classes from around the world, often quietly in the background, like you who are seeing the recorded version are doing now. All right, dear devotees, with all best wishes, my obeisances. Ami Ashchi.